Yo, it's your boy Jen. On today's video, we have a brand new manga series to talk about, and this one is called Yokai Buster Murakami. And if you guys don't know what Yokai means, it just means like ghost spirits, urban legends, and all that good stuff. So knowing that, we kind of figure what these, what the manga is about a little bit. But I would say the approach is not like usual suspects. It's not serious. It's not like horror. It takes on the approach of like, yeah, I would say it's more of a skepticism, more of that approach. And it is kind of like a comedy too, where there's like a bunch of banter between the characters. And the characters, they're kind of like the opposite. There's like only two of them here. So yeah, guys, we're just, I'm gonna just tell you guys my thoughts and opinions of this first chapter. And yeah guys, let's just get right into it. So the first character, we don't even get their name. But she's like the exorcist here. And she's like a scary cat. And she doesn't want to exercise the yokai all by herself. So she brings in her friend. Who is like the complete opposite of her. And together, they're walking. And they're like in a river. And this is where they see a kappa. If you guys don't know what like a kappa is is it's, it's like a green hairless monster and they have weird and they have like a weird thing where they have like a circular head like a dish in their head for whatever reason and yeah this is the first yokai that they see and they have to stop together and instead of like fighting it like i would say like a normal manga uh our other character murakami he was like being very uh, being a very skeptic person here saying that what this uh, Kappa was doing was not making sense like his plan of capturing people because that's what he does when he's like in a river and he was saying like a lot of negative things to this bird saying that his color isn't even right it doesn't even match like the river he's on um, the exorcist she was just saying like just saying sorry to the Kappa, the one that she's supposed to like attack, but she was just very nervous, and it was just him being very, very skeptic the whole time, saying that nothing he does truly makes sense. And now he was getting mad, but he wasn't really attacking them, which was odd. But maybe he can't attack them. Not sure why. And yeah, he was just smack talking the whole time. The whole manga. Now there are some things he said that they were pretty funny. Yes, I did laugh at some jokes. And yeah, uh, looks like the 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 Kappa was kind of tired of uh, all this talking. And he pulls out a weird thing, and that was like an anal orb. <laughs> no idea what the, he this comes from. Apparently, this is like a strong thing. And yeah, it looked like they still weren't scared at it. And he ate it. And yeah, nothing really happened there. And then he somehow controls these two girls that were in the area too. And not even, not, not and yeah, this doesn't even face Murakami at all. He was saying that does he only possess only girls and not guys and why does he only possess like young girls and yeah things about that he was saying that he was like it was like a porn plot weird things that don't make sense for sure and then the kappa's glass head just shatters and yeah it looks like he's getting weak and weaker and then the funny part for me at least was here where uh murakami just looks up at his butthole and he finds out that he has three of them. <laughs> he was saying that no wonder you're into butts. <laughs> so it was pretty funny there, I won't lie. And he just stands, he just plays flat in like in the floor. And then he turns into like a little kappa, a little bird. And he turns into like a cute animal, like a Pokemon. And then the exorcist uses like a seal and captures it. And she was all happy. And then the next day or whatever, they're just talking. 
they're she was just thanking him for like going with them and they were just saying that they were really good friends and then the kappa breaks the seal but it turns out he's harmless now but he is a pervert he was like watching like some nasty stuff with the volume really up so and then he says that he's going to chase girls and look at their panties kind of like kind of like a master Jiraiya or something like that and yeah she seals him again and then this is where uh, Murakami just says that he wants to see all the yokai why I'm not sure why and yeah it looks like they're gonna go together in the world and capture all of them and yeah guys that's the end of the chapter here and yeah, there's some good fun stuff here with all his banter and his very serious tone and him being a negative Nancy. And the stuff he was talking about was kind of right. He doesn't act like a normal person for sure. And I'm curious to see, does this happen to like every yokai they meet now? Where he's just going to talk, talk dirt, talk like negative to them. And they just become weak like that. I guess that can be really repetitive for some people for sure. But I'm curious, maybe there's like different jokes there for each yokai, which makes it funny. But yeah, guys, that's about it. About it. Uh, I've seen some people liking it here. Uh, pretty entertaining stuff for sure. Kind of something different you don't really see every day. And, uh,. Curious to see what they do with the other yokai. I don't think they're all going to be like the same. I don't think. There's no way they're all going to be like perfect. Because if they are, they're going to be. That's going to be a short series. Hopefully, they just have some unique, different things about every yokai. And yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next one. Peace.